Hello and welcome. During the next few minutes, I will be doing a short introduction into the new personal schedule application for the Rampart University. With this application, you will be able to compose your personal schedule and export it to a variety of formats. To get started, log in using your Rappout account or use guest access. But do note that your personal schedule will not be saved when using guest access. The first time you open the application, a dialog is shown to add courses to your profile. This can be done in three different ways. By adding a single course, adding a full study program, or adding a student set to your schedule. Adding a single course can be done by clicking Add Courses. You can now search in the full list of courses on your university. For example, I'll be searching Calculus. It's also possible to filter on a specific faculty or even a specific study program. For example, right now I'm watching all the Calculus courses in the first year of Mathematics on the Faculty of Science. Adding a course to your profile can be done by selecting a course or selecting multiple by holding Ctrl or Command and pressing the Add Course to Profile button. If a course contains multiple student sets, you are asked to select the correct student set. If you know the correct student set, this will save the unnecessary activities from your profile. Press the Add Courses to Profile button to add the courses to your profile. They will be shown on the right in the Activities in Profile. It is also possible to add a full study program to your profile. To do this, click Add Study Program, select the correct faculty and select your study program. For example, the Erasmus program for foreign students. And press the Add Study Program to Profile button. The program will now be listed under Activities in Profile. It is also possible to add a student set to your profile. For this, click Add Student Set and search for a student set in the same way it is for adding a single course. After adding courses to your profile, the main interface is shown. This consists of three different parts. The main view, where your schedule is shown, a list of activities in your profile, which can be edited, and a calendar to select the desired viewing date. If you want more information on the course, Move the mouse to the course and the box will expand to show you all the details. It is also possible to go directly to the study guide. It is also possible to view your schedule in a textual list. For this, hit the agenda view button. Here it is also possible to get details on the course by clicking the name of the course. Editing the courses in your profile can be done on the right side of the screen under Activities in Profile. It is possible to turn on or off different courses or courses within a study program or even the full study program itself. It is also possible to filter on different activity types. To do this, press the Filter button next to Activities in Profile. Here you can filter on lectures, exams and tests or all other activities. Please note that a green mark is showing when the filter is active, so you know that some activities are filtered out. The same can be done for normal courses. A course can contain multiple activities, which might not all be relevant for you. To filter out certain activities, press the filter button behind the course name, and only select the activities relevant for you. For example, the examination, lecture, and the tutorial group 5 and 6. The new application also makes it possible to export your schedule to a few different formats. To do this, press the Export Schedule button. Right now, five formats are supported. A PDF Week View, which looks like a Week View from the main interface. A PDF Agenda View, which looks like the textual Agenda View from the interface. Both PDFs are also suitable for printing. Furthermore, an iCalendar file, which can be used to import in Outlook, iCal, Google Calendar, or any other digital calendar application. Also, an iCalendar feed, which presents a live feed of your timetable to applications like Outlook, iCal, or Google Calendar, 
and a comma separated value file. To export a PDF, select the desired format, then select a predefined period or a custom start and end date. And for the textual agenda view, choose whether or not you want to show the student sets in the export. Then press the export schedule button to download the PDF. For the iCalendar export, it is possible to choose same period just like you do with the PDF. It is also possible to choose whether or not you want to set an alarm on the selected amount of minutes before an activity. Press export schedule to download the file. The iCalendar feed can be added to your digital calendar program with one click being Outlook, iCal or Google Calendar. You can also add it to other applications just by copy copying the URL. Please note that this is a personal URL which can be used to share your schedule with other people. Everybody who has access to this URL also has access to your personal schedule. You can use the comma separated value file for further processing in spreadsheet programs like Excel or Calc.